What's going on, bowling fans? Welcome back to the channel. That's right, bowling video time. Who's excited? I know you're excited. We've got Mr. Justin Williams back again, throwing the brand new EXJ VIP Sigma Edition bowling ball. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. All right, let's get into it. But first, you got it. What's going on, everybody? Yeah. Justin Williams and I, Bowling Talk. Again. What right. ball are we talking about today? Uh, VI, the new VIP, VIP season. The new EJ Tech. Is it just called the EJ VIP? Yeah, it's just the VIP. Oh, no, Sigma. It's the Sigma. Well, the Sigma, because of, of the core, but I right. guess that's the name of the ball. Yeah, sure. VIP. The, VIP, the, Sigma, the Sigma VIP. EXJ. EXJ is the man on fire right now on tour. Mm. Winning, winning everything and shooting 300 on TV and doing really? dude TOC and they were on that dual pattern so they he used the um the VIP on the left lane and then he used the blue coral venom on the right lane I believe it was I could be wrong I know if I'm wrong everybody can tell me ball 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 dude shoots 300 on TV and then I think her name is Kimberly Presser the announcer for the PBA right anyway she asked him how do you feel and he goes I don't feel good because he had to bowl Belmo next. She goes, why? He goes, well, statistically, when you bowl 300, you're going to bowl worse the next game. And mm -hmm. so what happened? EJ lost to Bumble. Anyway. Core, cover stock, and numbers. Hit the him up. Core is the Dynamic Fusion Pro. Same one on the Sky Raptor. RG. That the, you said core. That was the cover. That was the cover. The core is the Sigma Core. Yeah, cover. Yeah, so the cover is the Dynamic Fusion. Yes. Nice. Pro. The numbers are 2.47 with a different point zero four seven. The core obviously was in the Sigma ball, right? But then it was in the original Forza, or no, the Forza SS. It was in the Rogue Blade and the Rogue Assassin. Yeah, huh. I did not realize that. That was a while ago. Vivid, real quick, I guess, memory for the video on this. Um, I remember the Rogue Blade being a very strong mid lane ball. Like, that ball was strong. And then the Assassin came out. I was having problems. That's when we drilled like a five inch pin. Because remember, I couldn't keep anything left and I was yanking the ball. Yep. So we drilled yep. a five inch pin and the ball is great. So with that being said, I guess I do like the Sigma 4. Looking at the VIP, the only thing I really didn't know was the cover stock. Um, so I threw the ball and then I found out it was the Raptor cover stock put on the Sigma 4 Raptor on it for over, right? I haven't bowled in like a month and a half. So when I shot the video, I brought the Black Venom, I brought the VIP, and just my spare ball. You guys are seeing, I'm going to do something different with these videos. Three games, 30 shots, right? Smart. I think that's fair. Um, so I shot like 200, 206. I was trying a couple different things. And then um, I was like, okay, so let me get lined up really quick. Shot 279, stone eight pin. The drilling is a 45 by three by, I want to say 30. Numbers. It reads the mid lane very well. As I was throwing it, like I said, I didn't realize what the cover stock was. To myself, I thought, I'm watching this ball rev up and it reminded me of the Raptor. But you can see it. The ball gets down to the spot and just wants to rev and move right for me. It wasn't as much as the Raptor. So I was like, okay. But in a way, that's a good thing because you can control the pocket more. You're not going to go face. You're not going to do a lot of things. I like this motion more than the Raptor. I thought I was going to like the Raptor a lot. It was, for me, it was a mediocre ball. This one I had missed room with, so I was quite happy with it. The reason behind the drilling, I'll say the drilling again, it was 45 by three by, again, I think 30-ish. For that, I wanted the strong mid lane. I wanted it to be a little bit more rounder because I wanted it to complement the uh, the Pride Empire, which yep. is 45 by four by five. That's like my favorite drilling right now. But yeah, so I think these two complement very well. Where do you think, what bowling style is this uh, VIP? going to be best for you can always find that on the motive web page right of course speed dominant balance and rev dominant i'm going to go towards me i'm on the balanced side so i can 
pretty much use it on a medium shot, I would say. Your rev guys, obviously, man, the ball's the ball revs. Um, if you if you drill a little bit longer pin, you'll be able to stay in that as soon as the transition hits. It'll just be cleaner down the lane. There are cleaner balls, I would say, but maybe a benchmark ball for the rev dominant players. And then the speed dominant, man, because it's easy revving, like I think the speed dominant ball is gonna be fine. Obviously, you're gonna need a little bit more friction. When you throw it hard, you normally sacrifice the revs, which normally sacrifice sacrifice motion. I think it's going to be a fun one to throw in the league, especially in a couple of tournaments. And plus it looks pretty. So tell everybody when they can pick this ball up from their local VIP Motive Pro Shops. The 14th of June, man. That is two days from now. Mm -hmm. Two days. Drill it up, man. Let us know how you drill it. Let us know what you think. Let us know what are you comparing it to? What are your numbers on the drillings? What are, I don't know, <laughs> show us something. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. You show us something or you tell us something. How about that? Man. There it is. I'll answer, I'll answer questions. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mean, but yeah. There's the, uh, <laughs> obviously we're, yeah, he was, he was kidding. But leave your comments below. Justin already right. said all that stuff. Grab one. EXJ Sigma VIP Motive. That's it. That's all we got. Thanks again to uh, Justin and thanks to all of you for watching all of our uh, silly bowling videos. We love making them. You know what it is? Yeah. It's like a therapy yeah, session for me and Justin. We get on FaceTime and we talk for like 20 plus minutes or sometimes even longer before we even start making this video. So this is, it's a, it's a nice like once a month kind of we we get all of our life stuff out to each other. So it's Great. helping us uh, emotionally as well as helping you with your bowling ball decisions. Subscribe and stuff, do all the things. Hit the buttons. Yeah, do that. All right, see ya.